afternoon of June 25th, 2023, this house was struck by a tornado seemingly out of absolute nowhere with no warning whatsoever. What was later categorized as an EF2 tornado literally lifted this house off its foundation, turned it upside down, and slammed it back into the ground. Home at the time was the parents of a good friend of mine. His mother sustained life-threatening injuries, was life lighted out, and is making a full recovery, thankfully. Unfortunately, his dad passed away from his injuries he sustained during the tornado. The house has now been released from insurance, and we're going to do our part to help the family start picking up the pieces, cleaning up the mess, so they can move forward. Chad, buddy, this is a mess. It's a big mess. So, correct me if I'm wrong, but this storm basically come out of nowhere with no warning. Yep, uh, we have pictures 20 minutes before the storm and the sky is just blue, no rain, no hail, no nothing. Never even rained when the tornado hit. Nope, for two days afterwards it didn't rain. That's crazy. It was a, well, did they give you an actual size on the tornado? Well, it was probably at least they an EF2. 135 mile an hour winds and it was an EF2. EF2. I was gonna be my guest, but I'm no meteorologist. But so the house took a direct hit, obviously with no warning or whatever. Both your parents were inside. Yes. Um, had no time to get to the basement. No warning, no nothing. Mom said it was about three seconds. And she felt suction. She didn't even hear anything. Really? Yeah. Um, your mom sustained some pretty substantial Major injuries. injuries. Unfortunately, Her. your dad didn't make it. Dad didn't make it, and mom was really lucky that she did. Didn't make it. Yeah. I mean, look at this is. Obviously there is some work has been done here because the, uh, I guess the local farmer brought an excavator in the night of the storm and um, helped well, guess, get we your parents had to out. Well, we dig dad out. Yeah. And mom was over there where, you know, it was open then and, and all the fire department got her out. We're really thankful they got her out, life flighted her and saved her life. Yeah. But dad, the house was pretty much on top of him. So other than what they moved to get him out i mean it, it the house took a direct hit there's nothing nothing left what you see here is what was left it's crazy because it, this was a three story this had a story up on top of it so our plan this morning is we're going to go through try to help you guys out and uh we do have you guys had a bunch of trees and stuff in the yard you got two brush piles we're going to sort out what clean wood uh can be burnt the rest of it we got some dumpsters here yep. to uh load the plan is to try to save the foundation your mom is wanting to build back you guys got a beautiful piece of property here oh, lake out front it is beautiful it is really beautiful and it looks like the family and the community has showed up today there is a lot of family and friends here baby yeah it's awesome so we uh hit a little rain on the way here but not uh not too bad let's go downstairs i just want to show everybody the basement sure because it had like no damage until it rained if they would have been in the basement they would have walked away it's crazy and the, and, the, and the house is just gone yeah it's it's amazing that foundation where they should have been was in the basement yeah. but they, they had no warning yeah so. well and, and they had no warning nor do they have any reason to suspect anything right because if i remember the forecast that day there was a chance for some severe weather but it was three or four hours out yeah it was uh, uh it was a really big surprise we were actually here and just left and we would have never suspected anything like that was getting ready to happen right so well let's check out the basement real quick and then uh we'll start methodically sorting through this thing there is a few things in here they have not found yet we're going to try to save if we can find them for them and then other than that we're going to try to get you back to as close to the clean slate as we can great all right we got to be a little careful going in here this was actually the second story come out and set on some posts and what we're thinking happened is this, literally the storm just lifted this whole thing up and then just slammed it back. Yeah, slammed it back it down. I think took the posts out from underneath of yeah. it. Yeah, maybe a tree wiped the posts out. Well, yeah, yeah, you do have because what they don't see now is, is all the tree damage. You guys look, especially from the aerial shots, there's just stumps everywhere. Oh yeah, yeah, That's there's crazy. a lot of trees. So, down. but we'll slide inside here real quick. Hopefully, you guys can see. I know it's a little bit dark, but 
all the damage you see down here is from the rain. This was like nobody had touched it whenever we cleaned it out. One spot right there. Yeah. Floor got a little bit of damage where we believe the chimney fell. But uh, you walk around to the back rooms and everything. I guess this is just proof. You get to the lowest floor. It's That's what you should do if you can get the warning and you think there's a storm coming, you should definitely get low. Yeah. The other thing they always say is what to get to the south. Is it the southwest corner? I don't know. I think it is. And I think that's the corner still standing up there, huh? That, that, they were talking about low high pressure zones on it so yeah. I, i'm not i don't know i understand that very much <laughs> but. well that's an irrelevant point at this time so all right well let's uh let's get to work see if we can get this cleaned up so you guys can start going back the other way all right you ready back here yep we're gonna try to sort through Get as much of the clean wood as we can. Over on the pile. Stuff good, got her. It should load better. We're gonna take bets whether Chad makes it or not. I, I'm betting he doesn't. I bet you if he don't make it, he's gonna blame it on my tires or my truck. Oh, he's, he's running for it. Oh, uh, here we go. Here man. we go. I hope he gets off before Oh, he he gave up on us. <laughs> Squeeze play. <laughs> I thought you were going to try to scramble. Got just enough rain to make everything nasty. It was actually in the body shop yesterday, so I couldn't go look at it. So it's something to do with, uh, they've broken the bed post since the last time I checked. And of course the dealers didn't show up with the bed post broken. So they had to fix the bed post before they were showing up. Well, he made it once. We'll see how many more times he can do it. Let's get right there.
I loaded that entire truck and you didn't record any of it? Yeah, I recorded it. I recorded it all, but I only did one clip. Oh, all right. All right, load number one's on. We're gonna throw a few little random pieces up on there. Hopefully Chad can make it out of here. Just enough, Gunner, to make it make it nasty. All right. What do you think? You want to finish knocking down that piece right there? The cow's piece. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get this side of the house cleaned up. And then we'll go down around and try to get that front figured out. What do you think?
again. You know what we're getting ready to do? We're gonna take this log. It's like a big broom. Try to sweep off that floor. Think we can do it? I gotta build all this pile of debris here so I can sit up here nice and level. Hang on, here we go. Chad, we're making some progress. Looking a lot better. It is looking a lot better, isn't it? Yeah. I got the, I don't think I videoed any of my uh, floor fishing skills out there. You might have got a few of them. I don't know how long, how long the camera lasted up there. <laughs> we got the majority of that off there without, uh, the main thing is we didn't incur any more damage. 
I'll tell you what, you impressed quite a few people dragging a tree that you found in there. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently they're easily impressed around here. So, All right, I think next on the list, we're going to go ahead and finish taking out the back wall here. Kind of working out good, keeping everything piled up right here, loading out, so we're controlling our mess a little bit, but let's uh, make it happen.
kind of got everything on the side there cleaned up for the most part we worked the way down around the corner on the front i'm gonna try to get some of this stuff kind of cleaned up here a little bit and we gotta get that cantilever section flipped over there somehow second tree that's literally been inside the house. Do you think we can get all this off here without collapsing the floor? Hope so. You're tired? Yeah. You haven't even done nothing. I know. I don't know what kind of smoke alarms they have in this house, but we need to get those because they are still going off. get this we're gonna get this little bit down then we're gonna go again well we're down to the uh the last little piece we got to get this folded over hopefully save that front wall of the house is framed right it's not concrete yeah, it's framed with stone on the outside there so there used to be posts underneath this and they were just sitting on top of that wall everything's pretty much broke loose i'm hoping i can hook the top of it and just kind of fall it over and then i'll walk on top of that and we'll grab that last little bit over there and when we get it cleaned up we're out of here yay yay <laughs> <laughs> you haven't done nothing but ride back here in the air conditioner all day turn the heated seat on and turn my heat seated on three times I your foot has. You, you said you turn my You're just heat like Mama. on, and then um, I turned it off, and then you turned it back on. It turned on. <laughs> yeah, it turned on. You're just like Mama behind no, the scenes for sure. I turned it on. All right, you gonna video? You gonna video? Yeah. You gonna argue? No. Yeah. All no, right. I don't. I don't want to video. Well, too bad. Here we go.
got it all. Well, Chad, you guys are back to a clean slate. Yes. It's sure uh appreciate it. That was uh that was a good day. We got a lot done though. We got more done than I thought we would. Oh, you had no faith. I didn't. I worked harder than I thought I was gonna have to, but, <laughs> <laughs> but we got done what I was hoping to, so it worked out good. We pretty much saved the foundation. We saved exactly half the deck. Yeah. And uh I guess from here you guys will get uh Get a new carpenter in here, a new framer, or whoever you're going to get in here. And I think you can be able to save a lot of that, reuse it, and hopefully get going back the other direction. So, Yep, that's the plan. It looks, uh, we just looked at some of the photos. It looks a lot different this morning than what it does the rest of the day. So. Yeah, we really put a dent in it, and I know my mom feels a lot better about it now. Well, it's the uh, absolute least we could do. So it was a full day. We got her knocked out, but we're going to have to head south, ain't we? All right, tell them thanks for watching. Give them a big old thumbs up for Chad and his family. They want to see what we're getting into next. They need to subscribe. It's free. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Tell them bye. Bye. Well, we wrap this one up, guys, Chad and his family was nice enough to share a few pictures of what this place looked like before the tornado. And as you guys can tell, it was absolutely immaculate. You can definitely tell they took a lot of pride in their property in the home. I never actually got to see this place in person, but you can tell from the pictures it was, uh, it almost looked like a resort. Unfortunately, after the tornado hit, it was not the same result, and this is what we showed up to, which is just absolutely incredible. Like I said, the first responders did shuffle a little bit of debris around uh, during the uh, rescue efforts, but uh, this is 90% tornado damage, which is just uh, absolutely, absolutely incredible. But uh, 
it was a good day's work. A lot of uh, people from the friends and family from the community showed up, and we got uh, we got them back to square one here with a decent foundation, and hopefully moving in the uh, right direction. So I just want to say thank you to all you guys watching the channel. Without your guys' support of this channel and awesome partners like Hyundai being involved, that's what puts me in the position to be able to uh, step out and uh, help the community and help people like this in a time of need. And I am definitely glad to do it. But definitely. Definitely appreciate your guys' support and uh, allow me to be in a position like this whenever I can help out. Chad and his family are, are awesome, awesome people. And um, it was the absolute least we could do to show up and pitch in for the day. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, we shall catch you on the next one.